Welcome back to the channel everybody, it's Mark from Cricket Bat Info and today we're having a look at a KG Reserve. This bat has come in from Oliver, he plays locally in the Adelaide Turf Cricket Association and uh, yeah, stunning looking bat. So he's actually arranged this directly uh, through a contact and I don't know who that is. Comes in a nice bag that I hadn't seen before, so you can see that, KG, I'll stick that at the back there. Um, so these are made in India. And let's talk a little bit about the grain structure. Well, you can see here, this is the reserve grade. This is the top of the line. And I can see here 13 grains across the face. Um, I've already counted them. And they're beautifully straight all the way down through the face. And there's no blemishes at all. A little bit of darkness down here, but I wouldn't count that as a blemish. Um, looking at the side here, I can't see any pin knots. And a tiny little bit of... Uh, growth there but nothing uh, really to worry about uh, the back of the bat is perfect as well so yeah have a look at that this is Clifton KG and it's got what looks to be an eagle and these stickers themselves that is textured up here there's like a honeycomb texture going on on that sticker up there and there's a texturing on this one here, Reserve 5 Star. Uh, in fact, if I hold it to the light a little bit differently, you should be able to see that texturing. Um, yeah. And that is the profile. Isn't that a lovely uh, profile? Really big duck bill here. And it's got all that meat through a mid-low position right here in the driving area. It'd be lovely and sweet and it extends up all the way through and just sort of tapers out. There's a little bit of concaving and some weight reduction going on down here at the shoulder. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, I don't think I've had grains like that for a while. So yeah, well done. That's a really stunning piece of willow. So apparently uh, you can buy KG somewhere in Australia. Uh, I don't know where. Um, but they're in the vicinity of like a thousand dollars but I don't know what the pricing is overseas obviously if you're living overseas you can contact them directly kgsports.com uh, the handle feel is a lovely uh, oval to round so I'd say semi oval but it feels more oval actually this grip is very grippy uh, and it's almost like a latex sort of feel to it. Um, I haven't sort of seen this particular grip uh, before. The thickness of the handle very much reminds me of something like uh, what Laver would do, that sort of thickness that once you've got the gloves on feels nice in the hands and that's really grippy. We'll have a look under the grip to see what's going on. And you can see there we've got three black cork on the handle short handle there kg sports dot whoops short handle there kg sports.com three black cork nice binding uh, nice and tight all the way through some real care taken there i can see and they've even made a real good go at sticking down the binding properly i think a lot of uh, bat makers really this is a bit of an afterthought um, but yeah, I actually like the look of it. It's nice and clean. Uh, it's obviously their top of the line. Now, as far as the bat shape goes, let's have a look at some of the specs. We'll put it through the gauge. And you can see there that it's not filling out the gauge. It's probably looking at about a 62 millimeter spine, uh, but those edges are nice and big. I would say we're looking somewhere close to uh, 40 mil. Um, there is a bit of narrowing on the blade, I can see that immediately, and there's no concaving from what I can tell all the way through the bat from there to there. Firstly, I'm going to measure the width of the bat. Uh, often you'll see the width done to hit a certain weight range, so I know a lot of people get really crazy over width, but I'm not really too worried when we're in the uh, anything around 106 or up. Remember 107.8 is uh, four and a quarter inches. So we'll measure that. 
and it says 105.4. So it has been narrowed a fair bit. So I think uh, Harrow is 104. So, but I mean, you're there to actually hit the middle of the bat. Let's measure that all the way down through. 105.2. One hundred five, one hundred four point five. So yeah, it's like it's been planed down. Uh, that can give you a much thicker looking edge. We'll just measure that straight away, uh, and you can see there it's hitting thirty nine mil on the edges. Probably if it was uh, normal width, you'd probably be looking at about thirty seven. So it's not dramatic. And this side, we're looking at 38. Let's try that again in the same spot. Yeah, it's pretty much the same, so that's good. Uh, width of that toe is 24. And in the center, remembering we've got a duck bill, and there is a bit of cam face camber, 26.5. I'll measure up here at the shoulder. Looks nice and thick, 16.2. And it looks very narrow here, leading into the handle. It's 31 to 32 mil. Let's look at that face camber. And I can see immediately it's close to uh, four and a half. I'd say it's probably about a three and a half mil. It looks to be sort of rounded, tapered towards the, rounded towards the edges and flat in the center uh, as far as that shape goes. Uh, the finishing on the bat, I must say uh, immediately, it's really nicely sanded. There is a bit of, uh, a little dents and things from packaging uh, coming into Australia but generally I think that's a really nice looking uh, finish as far as the toe goes you can see there that those grains are beautifully straight running straight down through the toe which is a really good sign uh, and you can see there's a little uh, dot there where they've spun the handle uh, on the lathe um, nice and full through that shape we'll measure the spine straight off so 62.1 so I've got nobody on the cameras today and I'm, I think I said in the last video, one of the last videos that I'm changing this all around after tonight um, and hopefully I'll set myself up with a much better setup that I can actually live preview and, and keep an eye on things while I'm filming. Yeah, so there you go, 62mm edge, 40mm spine, full shape, very much a player's style shape with that duck bill down the uh, bottom just to improve the pickup and the feel. Uh, the overall length of the bat we're looking uh, 86, so that's uh, a short handle for sure. Now I'll tell you what I think it feels like. So in the hands, with that full profile on the duck bill, lovely light pickup. Uh, it feels like a 2.8 in my hands. We will weigh the bat now. Got it on pounds and ounces. That's all zeroed. And it comes in 285. So yeah, that's that's pretty much spot on. Yeah, I look, I'm actually fairly impressed with the bat. I'm not too worried about widths and things like that. I don't think that Oliver paid a thousand dollars for it. I think it's actually come in uh, quite a bit cheaper than that. Um, so it all depends on how much you're prepared to pay, but that quality willow, we should get a nice uh, ping out of it when we hit it with the mallet. Okay, so first up, we will start with tapping up the grey nickels. I just do this as a comparison of a bat that's played in, just to give you uh, a perspective on what sort of things a bat is gonna be like when it's actually going, and just how close uh, the bat that we're reviewing is to that maybe even surpass it. Starting at the toe. So you can see there that that bat's going really well. Try and make sure that's in camera. So that one is a favorite. I keep getting offers to buy that bat, but while I'm using it in reviews, I don't see why I should sell it. All right, we'll tap this one up, make sure it's in camera. really going from that area there right 
in that area there. It's a much firmer press than I was expecting, uh, which once we get the oil on it, it's actually with me for knocking. We'll see exactly how this one's turned out. So we'll end the video here and next time you see it, it will be all fully knocked in. So it turns out that I didn't actually film a post knock or anything like that. I didn't see any real point. I did the end of video footage um, with the completed bat. You can see there the bat is actually finished, knocked. Uh, I've put a shugu toe on it. It's got a little bit of dirt underneath there. Uh, just at the end, the camera picks up every little blemish. Uh, as far as the knock-in, I'll do a flyby over the actual face here. You will notice down on the bottom left what you th think is a crack, uh, but it's just something that was in the wood beforehand. When you roll things, sometimes they can open up a little bit there. Um, the whole face, all the edges right to the top were all knocked in. Some people don't actually knock the that's all the way through. You can see here I actually gave it a good go at fixing up that dent on the back uh, and repolished it. So you can't really see that damage as much as you could before when he presented it. So that's the end of the review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, first KG that I've had through. Thank you very much to the owner and if you like what I do please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you back here for the next review.